Hello everybody, thank you so much for stopping by for your July tarot forecast or tarot insights I should say. Um, what I'm going to be looking at is not a comprehensive look at your month at all. Um, this is going to be covering one theme that shows up during your month at some point. It may have to do with love, it may have to do with family, it may have to do with work, it may have to do with your home. It can be anywhere. I basically have given free reign to Sacred Spirit. We're going to talk about whatever it is that Sacred Spirit wants to bring up for each sign. So it's whatever is most important for you guys to hear about. Um, I know that disappoints some of you because you just want those love readings, but sometimes there are other things that are important too. So... Um, what I'm actually going to be looking at in these monthlies is one particular life cycle that shows up for you sometime in the month of July. And um, a life cycle, what do you need to know about that? A life cycle is something that we all go through and it is the purpose of it is to teach us something or to let us experience something um, either new or at a new level than before. So life cycle gives us a new lesson or new experience and we have the setup of the life cycle then we have the lesson or the experience and then we have the fulfillment or the ending of the life cycle the fulfillment is what happens as we integrate that lesson or experience into our lives and that'll be more at the end of the reading that'll be like the last three cards that i talk about um, before that is the setup and then in between is the actual lesson or experience how long is a life cycle is something that I hear a lot. Life cycles really, as far as timing, depend on you and how quickly you embrace or how much you resist the lesson or experience that you're being set up for. So um, completely up to you. I've seen life cycles last as short as 20 minutes, although that's pretty rare usually. And I've seen them go on for years and years and years <laughs> so like I said it really depends on you and how willing you are to embrace the lesson or to or how much you're resisting that lesson or experience okay so thank you once again everybody for stopping by for hanging out I do appreciate it now you know what you're getting into on with your reading hello there Capricorn Let's just jump right into your reading. The first thing that I'm seeing does talk to me about your environment, and your environment is any place where you have energy or effort invested. So what I'm seeing about your environment is that there is uh, conflict there. There's conflict and disruption going on in your environment right now. Um, and one of the impressions that I get for a lot of you, this is talking about there's construction like right next door to you and it's driving you crazy because of the noise. Or it could have even be um, construction going on or rehabbing going on in your own house. Uh, but definitely conflict, disruption. Um, I don't see your environment as a quiet, calm, peaceful place right now for you, um, Capricorns. Okay, so subconscious leanings. There's some kind of goal or achievement that you're trying to get accomplished in your life, Capricorns, and you're kind of feeling like you're just treading water, like you're not getting very far with it. So subconsciously, um, you're trying to work out, okay, how can I make this happen? And that's what's really going on in your subconscious mind. As far as learning style, I do feel like whatever it is you're learning or researching, you sort of have yourself on a schedule about this. You're doing this in a set manner. And then as far as communication, um, bum, 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 communication style in regards to this, I feel like you're not doing a whole lot of communication. Every once in a while when something needs to be said, you're saying it, but most of the time you're just being pretty quiet and letting things happen around you um, without too much input from yourself. The next card that comes up does talk to me about work. Um, for some of you, this will come in as work, how you make a living. For some of you, this will come in as work that you're doing on your inner self. For a few of you, this will be both. But if this is work as far as how you make a living, I feel like there's been some rule changes at work. There's been a shakeup on how things are done and what the protocol is at work. And so I feel like you and a lot of other people are kind of waiting to see 
is the new way of doing things going to stick? Is it going to last? Or is that going to change and then there's going to be another way of doing things that comes up or you'll go back to the old way. So just kind of waiting to see there and trying to adjust to what's going on that's new at work. Now, if this is inner work, then I feel like you have started some kind of new um, practice. It could be a new spiritual practice, could be a new weight loss practice, uh, something that is good for you that does take some self-determination, some inner willpower. And I feel like you've started this practice and um, you're not quite sure yet if you're going to stick with it. This is kind of do or die time to form that habit, to let that habit set or to abandon that habit. And so I feel like that's what's going on for you for work if this is inner work. So this is kind of that crucial time of do or die. The next thing that I'm looking at talks to me about that part of you that is growing or expanding right now as you go through this life cycle. Um, what we've got coming up here is that you are really getting in touch with your feelings, Capricorn, and learning how to express them in a way that other people can understand them when you want other people to know how you're feeling. And starting to realize that there are times when you would like other people to know how you're feeling, and that's okay. Um, let's see, what do you stand for? Capricorns. Some of you have some kind of addiction. This can be a food addiction, a porn addiction, a drug addiction, an alcohol addiction. Uh, this could be a relationship addiction. This can be a workaholic thing, a work addiction. Um, but some of you have an addiction. And you, if, when people are coming at you and saying, hey, you know, you really should look at this. I wish you would do things in a little healthier way. You're telling them, hey, step off. This is my choice. Now, for some of you, though, this is not your addiction. For some of you, this is somebody else's addiction, and you're making excuses for them. So other people are kind of trying to say to you or trying to say to them, hey, um, maybe so-and-so should back off of whatever, and you are just making excuses. Maybe you're saying, well, that person's going through a lot. It's really not the time for them to try to do anything life-changing like that. Who knows what you're saying? But you're either defending yourself or you're defending somebody else whenever it comes to some kind of addiction. Ba -da -da -da. And really, I shouldn't say you're... It's not so much that you're defending yourself or this other person. You're defending the addiction itself. All right, so let's move on. How do other people perceive you? There is somebody who perceives you as very attractive. They are very into you. Um, a lot of times the person who um, was coming to you and you were saying, you know what, this is not your business, step off Jack. Usually it's this person who I see um, how they feel about you. And if that's the case, then it's this person that came to you talking to you about this addiction, whether it's yours or whether it's somebody else's, who's very attracted to you. They're very into you. All right, so the next card that we have coming up is that lesson or experience. And I'm just feeling around for what this would mean for you guys this time, Capricorn. <sighs> to me, this feels like you're dealing with a lot of frustration. You're dealing with a lot of impatience about something that's going on in your life. Um, you've basically got the Wheel of Fortune card upside down, which to me talks about patience. It talks about this is not the right time for something that's going on. So where you're developing your emotion, your emotional maturity, and you're being able to share your emotions, um, there is something going on here that is just saying that that's a good thing. That's actually helping you to move forward. But there's something that you want to do with that newfound skill that it's just not time yet to do it. What we have coming up as you're dealing with this frustration and restlessness as you're waiting for the right time is um, I feel like you have some depression that you're dealing with. This is part of the feelings that you're actually coming to terms with. And also there are some old resentments that you're dealing with that you've been carrying around for a long time. These are like lead weights. You really don't want to carry them around. They don't help you. 
um, and I see that there is also some heartache. So to me, these these feelings that you're learning to feel, that you're really kind of cutting your teeth on with the learning to feel and, and acknowledge your feelings, um, are these feelings, these resentments, the, and the resentments cause depression. And then you've got this heartache that it all kind of snowballs and multiplies until you can actually deal with the negative feelings and then just release them. Once you get them released, then that opens the door. It's like taking a box and dumping out a bunch of old junk and now you have room in that box for something that is new and wonderful. That's what it's like to release old negative feelings. Dump out that old junk so you have room to put in something new and wonderful. And that's what's going on here for you guys, Capricorn. Okay, so thank you all so much for stopping by, for sharing, liking, subscribing, and commenting. I do appreciate all of your support. Everyone have a fantastic month, and I will see you back here the next time. Peace out.